Hi, I'm Philip Hondo. I'd like to talk to you about um, the spot deep water terminal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to <laughs> move myself out of the way and um, show you all this this website. I think it's real helpful. So the Seaport Oil Terminal or Spot, uh, it's a deep water project about 27 to 30 miles off the coast of Brazoria County, Surfside. And uh, they're in the process, they've been in the process of complying with or going through uh, the various environmental regulations. This website will explain the whole process and even talk about the project and what the project looks like. And, and interactive map, once again, real helpful, uh, talks about where the project will start. Uh, these deep water terminals um, are to enable ships to uh, that are that are going to quote unquote load or pick up crude oil from Port of Houston and the Port of Galveston. Since since those ports are, you know, I believe they're fairly deep, but they're not deep enough for these mega large ships that load with crude. Uh, it, a way for them to load crude oil is offshore at these deep water ports uh, that are, like I said, about 30 miles off the coast. And when you, when you get around 30 miles off the coast, you're starting to get into 120 foot of water. Uh, so as you can see, uh, I've had some clients that have contacted me about this project. Why? Because uh, they live along the onshore portion uh, in and around the Angleton Lake Jackson area. And, and essentially anyone from the Echo Terminal to Surfside or Quintana um, Freeport, uh, they're going to be uh, affected by this pipeline. Now, there's other pipelines in this area. I, I You can consider a, a pipeline corridor uh, for a lot of the land effect. Um, they're very well, maybe certain stretches of land that do not have any other pipelines on them, so therefore would not be considered <clears throat> a pipeline court uh, without any other pipeline uh, on that particular track. But I think overall, this route follows a very similar of uh, many, many pipelines. And so therefore, in general, I think there is definitely a pipeline corridor to be considered uh, on this new project, this uh, spot terminal project. So uh, going back to the website, like I said, there's a lot of uh, interesting information here helpful information talking about uh, really just what this project is and what I find very interesting is the amount of crude oil that can be loaded or the number of vessels it says two crude oil vessels uh, can be loaded uh, at the same uh, during the day uh, it talks about two million barrels per day 365 days per year so uh, a lot going uh, uh, deep or offshore port projects. So uh, hopefully this is helpful information. I really want to direct you to, and I'll link this, uh, I'll include a link to this website on my blog as well. Uh, another uh, that uh, many landowners have received about this project. So with that, I uh, hope it's helpful. Um, that's all for now. If you have any questions, Definitely recommend that you contact an attorney that focuses on representing landowners in eminent domain proceeding. Uh, this product, uh, as it goes forward and as easements are needed, uh, will will be um, those easements will be acquired either by mutual agreement with the landowners or through a condemnation. Uh, with that, good luck. As always, I'm Phil Hundle.